Tampa RV show right now. I left all of the cameras that are the good cameras at home, I believe. So I'm gonna be trying to make a few videos with some of the older technology, which probably won't be so good, but it is what it is for now. So hopefully it's decent. Escape Plus. Okay, there's a toilet. What? You see a Oh, what's the price? Tell me the price. It's expensive, is the price. No, it's um, forty-three thousand. No. Yeah, forty-three. You gotta be kidding. And it's apparently on sale. <laughs> Everything's so expensive these days. <laughs> Got the little toilet. Kind of interesting one out there. Got the shower. Oh, it's green. I like this. Wow. Right, so it's green. So what is this? The A-Liner 40th anniversary. It's got those off-road tires. Probably really expensive. That's pretty big in here. Thirty-eight thousand. Yeah. You can see where my head is, and there's a ton of, ton of space above me. And uh, yeah, just a lot of room. And the pop-out dorm is awesome. I wonder what the weight of this is. 40th anniversary. I don't see a, I don't see a toilet or anything like that. So whatever this one is, I don't know. Oh, uh, the LXE. So the LXE, that's the one with the toilet, or the shower and the toilet. That's this. You got your shower and then you put up your shower curtain over here. And to be honest, any of these that have this dormer, the pop-out dormer, it just adds so much to it. It really does. Even though this pop-out dormer over here is kind of lower, but this one, this one's nice, it's really high. So I could pretty much walk. I don't know if I'm gonna hit my head. I feel like I'm close. Yeah, I would hit my head. So I have to duck a little. So, but still, that's really good. Yeah. 
Like what do we got here? 1,695 pounds. Oh, the range of 12. I already got some videos of the, um, I think I had a video of the range of 10. Just a little bit smaller. But it has, you know, the propane. And pretty much the same stuff. What's this? Ah, the classic. Yeah, for me the classic is uh, kind of strange. I, I just don't feel like I, I have a use for the classic. I mean, it has the it has the heat. Oh, it's nice. The uh, countertops. So this one's kind of nice. It's definitely one of the larger ones. It's white, with some different paint, and has the off-road tires. I wonder what this is. Kind of looks like looks like one of the evolutions or something like that. And oh, look at that! Look at the the countertops. Oh, the shower! Look at this. So you actually step into the shower. And then you just have to hang the curtain. Well, that's something. And that's your toilet. Look at that. This thing must be pretty expensive if I had to guess. Did that say 62,000? It's at 82. I don't have my glasses. This is the A-Liner Evolution. The gray one. Looks like 55699 is the price. Yep, it has a has a shower as well. These are so big, I feel like I'm in like a really, really, really small apartment. So I think for somebody that really doesn't have much stuff, if you want to travel, and if you want to actually like live in one of these for a while, you know, you could. Because it pretty much has everything you need, and especially if like you're only a single person. I don't see why not. Scout light, the one I keep buying. Now fourteen four hundred. Still has some headroom. Definitely, definitely much smaller. But I think great for one and maybe two people. the Grand Escape. This one that has a shower. And I got the video of this with the measurements. Just like I did with the Scout and the Scout Light. I'm standing straight up. So. Uh, definitely some nice headroom over here. At least for somebody my height at 6'1". Plus my shoes. Could, you know, stand over here and cook without any issues. It's a nice one too. So 
So I think that this time, because I got the crappy camera, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to focus on the smaller units. Because last time I made a video of a lot of larger ones too, but I think I'm going to try to focus on smaller ones. Ones that are more practical for like putting in the garage, uh, you know, stuff like that. Boy, you could really just sit in here. What do they want for this? Little guy, the Micro Max. Let's see. Well, it's definitely not stand up for me, but I wanted to bend my legs. Nice though. Definitely nice, you know, sitting at the table. So, just a bed. And the sink and all that stuff. What's the price is? What is it, 23000 27000 The bigger one's 29000 Like I'd probably stand up in there. So this year they got homes. Look at this. What is this, a new camp tag? Yeah, these things are little. But you can park it in the garage. And just that the only thing you can do in here is sleep. Let's see, uh, 26 grand. Twenty twenty four new can for barefoot and twenty three grand. Let's go inside and look at this. Ah, you got the toilet and shower at least. And the stand up test, well, almost, almost. Another tag, this one's kind of little. Yeah, it's just a bed with an AC. And I don't really like these um, uh, kitchens in the rear. I feel like the space is just wasted when, you know, you know, having a sink somewhere on the inside would be nice. Okay, so this is the Tag XLSE. That's a big off-road tires. And it looks like it's probably just a little bit or about the same height as I am. You could park it in the garage, but it's basically just sleeping. Ugh. But this one does have some, some good headroom, so you could probably crouch. I'm, I'm sitting, so you could probably crouch around a little bit. In all honesty, it's not bad for one of these. It's not bad at all. For something that you can't stand up in. Because it looks like it's just the basics. An AC, an outlet. I don't see what type of kitchen was back here. Yeah, so if you don't want the kitchen, you got the storage. 
But you see, I feel like this, like if there's a way to take this out, I would. So this is the Tab 320. And this is one I feel like I just want to like, really like this. But just because it can't stand up. <laughs> but, you know, I think if you don't have that problem, it's nice. This is a little shower over here, a little shower toilet thing. So, not bad at all. For what it is, what's the price? Let's say 38000 I think it's just 38000 Oh boy, it's about 38000 Oh, maybe 29, 30,000. It's pink. The barefoot, the new camp. Barefoot. Tampon 400. So this year has a lot more than last year. There's just no doubt about it. This outside section is, it looks like it's about two times or maybe about three times or more as large. But the inside has a little bit more of the vendors like selling their products. So it's kind of interesting. And it seems like there's also um, more of the smaller units here. Versus last year, I feel like almost it was a larger unit. right here and uh, head this way it's just amazing how how much larger this show is this year than it was last year So the bushwhacker, this is the 24, what is it, 24 foot bushwhacker, 16,000. So this one, it's pretty much, you know, a bed and uh, the AC is right here, or the AC and a, what is it, maybe a uh, dehumidifier combination, at least that's what it looks like to me. Really, you could probably only sit up in there. I don't even know if I could sit up very well. Yeah, I could sit up. But that's about it. Let's check out this one. How much is that? 'em. I'm, I'm scrunched a little bit. But it's pretty nice. It's got the uh, the toilet and the shower combination. And the little kitchen. That's the bushwhacker plus, so nineteen thousand. What's this one? Didn't I just look in this? Oh, yeah, I think I did. That's pretty high. So that's not bad. So this one I feel like is good for two people.
something over here is cooking. It smells good. It smells like onions and, and more onions and probably french fries. Mm. This is the farce of a our pod, the RP-107. It's got like a fake fireplace. TV. So it's pretty much a bed. And they see. And the only way in here is like this. Just scrunched. So I, I wonder what the um, the uh, stand-up uh, height is of this. <sighs> got a little table. That's kind of interesting. On each side. Probably one of the better um, uh, teardrop types, as far as what it has. I'm gonna try to get out of here. It smells like pizza. Hmm. Gotta go check out these row of lights. Look at that one thing. Oh boy, it smells like pizza. Mm -hmm. 30 grand. Yeah, these are nice though. I like these, even though the height, I'm scrunching, but I do like these. It's 26, the road line 14 FD, I think it's the front dinette. Oh, it's me. You can fit your recliners in there. Let's see which one's this. The FL. FL. What did that stand for? FL. Oh, this is the one with the um, uh, two beds, kind of. Of course, it's got the place to eat, which converts into a bed. Only two thirty-five per month for the rest of your life. Not bad. Some of those loans are absolutely insane. How many months or or years should I say? So this is the Coachman, uh, the 16R remote. The table. And the shower. Yeah, these are all pretty much the same. They're pretty similar, all these types. Although the exterior looks different. Um, it doesn't have that metal panel look. It's kind of interesting. Okay, so this is the Clipper, the looks like the 9000, or should I say the Coachman 9000. What is this? Well, I guess it's just a seat. Let's come in and sit down. It's sitting up, I can't sit up. I can't sit up with this cushion. So the wind is blowing the smell from this food truck. Mm -mm. It's 
smells amazing. And these things are kind of interesting looking at the vintage cruisers. So 35,000. Oh, is it? Like I said, it's not a big deal because on travel trailers, there's no impact fee. You don't have to pay the 250 extra fee to get it. So all you do is pay for the fully fee itself. So you're paying rather than being $97, maybe $140, $128, depending upon what it needs to be able to do. If the tag is it's nice, it looks nice. Like I said, it, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Because if you were to buy a new camper. So the Gulf Stream, the Kingsport 177BH. So this looks, looks similar to the. Um, to like uh, the clippers and the and the um, uh, the coachmans and stuff like that. That's probably the shower.